Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. So today I wanted to quickly show you guys a little tutorial on how to use ExpressVPN on your Mac. Now I am on PC, but it's really the same thing. Once you've downloaded your ExpressVPN application from the website or after getting it, I think you still get an email where you can just download it. You can click on the link and download the application or you can download it from the website. I would recommend clicking the link below though if you're going to get ExpressVPN and you still haven't gotten it because I've left an exclusive discount that'll save you a little bit more money. Okay, so once you've downloaded your ExpressVPN application, the only difference you will see with ExpressVPN on your Mac is that there may be a different protocol and you will not get split tunneling. Unfortunately, split tunneling is not supported on Mac. Now, split tunneling is going to allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN connection and which don't. Uh, but this is something that you probably won't really use much anyways. And you have the kill switch will kill your internet connection in case the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. Now, if you're not sure about what I'm talking about, basically, when you connect to a VPN, you connect to a server of the chosen country. So if I go ahead and connect to, let's say, France, for example, now that I'm connected to the French server, my internet will perceive me as if I'm in France myself. So that's how I can get access to French content, for example. And also my data will be encrypted and I'll be as anonymous as I can be when connecting to even my home Wi-Fi, not just the public Wi-Fi, but it is essential. Of course, if you're not familiar, you should always connect to a VPN on public Wi-Fi so that you don't risk your information getting leaked. Anyways, the way to use ExpressVPN, as you can tell, it's very straightforward. Once you've downloaded it, you have the application. You can just click the on and off button to connect to the VPN. Now, if I go to my IP finder, it'll show up as if I'm in France. So just to demonstrate this very quickly, now I'm going to just turn this off and I want to show you around the application. Now, there's nothing much to show around. Honestly, you've got the locations here. I've got over 3000 servers in 94 countries and they're all listed by continent. And you're able to secure up to five devices per subscription, by the way, with each Express VPN subscription or account rather. Uh, and if you go to the options, there's nothing you want to mess with here besides the kill switch. And again, the kill switch will make sure that you're only going to be connected to the Internet while you're secured by the VPN. Otherwise, it will cut your connection with the Internet to avoid any accidental IP leaks. Now, with uh, protocols, you want to make sure you're connected to the lightweight UDP if you want the fastest connection, but automatic will do just fine as well. You can set up some shortcuts right here. So if I go ahead and let's say connect to Jersey this time, You'll see all of these shortcuts so I can just click, let's say Wikipedia and it'll take me straight to Wikipedia. Pretty cool little handy uh, feature here. So let's just turn this off. And uh, that's basically it when it comes to uh, ExpressVPN. You have the browser extensions here and there's nothing for you here unless you want to opt out of sharing the crash reports, which never really contain any identifiable information. Again, ExpressVPN has a pretty solid no locks policy that protects the information of anyone using ExpressVPN servers. And that's basically it. Of course, ExpressVPN allows for torrenting, streaming, whatever it is that you want to do really when it comes to accessing geo-restricted content and whatnot and uh, using it is as simple as just going to the locations picking the right server that you're looking for and connecting to it and you will be good to go so let me just give it a refresh and now i am in dallas texas simply because i just connected to the server and that's basically it for this video if you guys are interested in express again you'll find the link in the description down below to the exclusive discount and you'll find a full review if you'd like to learn a little bit more about it and comment below if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer all of them like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything vpns and cybersecurity. thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day